I run a, a small brand out of Gothenburg, Sweden called Black Badger Advanced Composites. Started off in 2006 making carbon fiber rings, purely for my own fun. Uh, I, had, I had just basically been booted out of design school, flunked out of design school uh, previously, so I was bored. I had nothing to do. And I had always made rings in the weekends in the, in the machine shop just for fun. So I had a lot of experience with this, but mostly working with composites in unconventional fashion, not the traditional wrapping and vacuum forming, mostly working subtractively. So putting it on the lathe, putting it on the mill, and just tearing it apart. So what that did is it gave kind of a weird skill set that isn't usually how you'd use these kinds of materials. And I had started working with a material called Moon Glow, which is a, I guess it's a really high output photoluminescent composite. Fancy way of saying those little glow-in-the-dark stars that kids stick on the ceiling of their bedroom. Same kind of stuff, but a much, much, much more high-power version of it. The luminosity of, of the watch was something that I was looking for already in uh, 2010 for another watch. I made some tests, you know, I mixed my own uh, powder, Super Luminova, but it's a paint. So I was looking for something that can be machined out. I didn't know that, does it exist or anything. But suddenly I found it from the Instagram. I found uh, Black Badger, James Thompson, having uh, uh, the material on a lathe. So I could see that it, there is a material that can be machined. So I did contact him, and actually we met uh, in here, in the Salon QP, on a change, of course. And uh, we started to talk about something, and uh, this is the result now. Um, and this was the first time we had incorporated a solid loom composite into a watch case. Traditionally it's been done, like Stepan was saying, with super luminova paint. And it's always quite additive at the end of the process almost. So what we wanted to do was see how we can incorporate luminosity as an integral part of the design, not just as an afterthought. So I had been using it quite extensively in my rings and stuff. And it was just a perfect match. Um, but what it does is it, it lets you start to use light in a three-dimensional sense. And it's really easy to overdo it. In fact, some of the original pieces we looked at, it was, it was too loud. There was way too much light. But as we started adding the different components of the watch over top of it, we found it's the contrast that really gives the light its, its key. So when you start putting the upper mesh dial in the hands, and the second hands, that contrast between the light and the dark is, is for me what makes the entire piece. When we met that with James in here in a year ago, so it, it was already because I, be, I have been looking for the material, so I knew already like uh, what I need. So it was quite fast. So from that moment when we met, like uh, three weeks after, James had sent me the material that I, I made first tests. I made the first dials. And uh, two weeks after that, he came to Helsinki and I showed that uh, what could be done. And we, then we decided to see that, uh, okay, let's go. First, it was supposed to be only one color, but in the end, like, it was, let's use them all. And uh, it was uh, very successful also, so they sold out now the, the whole series of the 24 watches.